You know, people often say to me, Alexi, why are you drunk all the time? And I say, because I can afford to be. But the other reason I drink a lot is because I'm a vegetarian. You see, the thing is, the booze is always made out of vegetables or fruit or grain or something. It's never made out of meat. You see, if somebody offered me, like, a beef wine or a pork martini, I would almost certainly refuse. Let's see. I'm lying. It's not true. I, I don't drink at all. Just mineral water. And I work out in the gym 28 times a day and I eat the odd free-range organic radish because I don't want to die. I'm getting old and I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Sorry. You know, when you're young, you're very devil-may-care, aren't you? Oh, yeah, I'll drink that radiator fluid. <laughs> When I was young, I was very heavily into drug abuse. I used to run into boots and shout insults at bottles of paracetamol. <laughs> the Victorians put a lot of faith into weird pills and potions. And we do the same with alternative medicine. For example, for five years, I visited a homeopathic hypno-osteopath that I found through the small ads pages in classified sadist magazine. <laughs> Over those five years, she managed to transform a minor ache into a major deformity. <laughs> I got really depressed and... I made, finally, what they call a half-hearted suicide attempt. Tried to slash me wrists with a tomato. <laughs> Eventually, it was time to seek real professional help. I can't just to see you now, you loony. Ooh, crikey. Now, Alexi, don't be afraid. Curing problems like yours is my game. Now, I'll just say some words one at a time. And you say the first thing that comes into your mind. Ready? Teddy? Saxophone? Saxophone? 